Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Jackie YBT Tech Away Tech Everything and today I'm gonna upgrade my lousy 35 ringgit webcam to this Fantac Luminous C30. So for those who don't know what is Fantac, Fantac is a company that based in Indonesia. They are quite popular in the Southeast Asia for its a wide range of gaming peripherals. For example, like gaming mouse, gaming RGB mouse pad, gaming headset and gaming keyboard etc that comes with an affordable price and this is their first webcam they recently just launched like a series of uh, live stream products microphone webcam and etc why i got this besides trying to upgrade my lousy webcam the price this thing costs just 129 ringgit for 2k resolution if you compare to uh, other competitors like the logitech they cost like three four hundred like the logitech 920 something like that that costs like 400 so what's the catch uh? like how they can manage to lower the price while providing the spec that good 2k 4 megapixel and 106 angle i don't know i guess we need to find it out by testing it so without further ado let's unbox it and test it out that's the front you know, very simple packaging feels good it's cardboard on the side you will see the feature like a summary you can twist the uh, webcam 360 degrees 106 wide angle built-in microphone and suitable for live streamers and youtubers compatible with your mac and pc and also suitable for obs discord sky and zoom interface using the usb 2.0 at the back is the spec in two languages english and indonesian okay what's in the box the webcam itself lens cover and user manual okay let's unbox it okay pretty easy to open there's no tape okay drag it out oh okay user manual or is this warranty information and the user manual okay put it aside and this is what you get out of the box okay take it out and that's it it's pretty uh basic nothing much plastic thing uh, trying to save cost and this is the cover very easy to clip it on i just figured out how to do it okay i'm gonna show you you take it like this and then you clip it ah once you hear that, you know it's clip on. And that is how you put on the cover lens thing. Pretty convenient if you are afraid of your privacy uh, invasion. You know, someone hack into your webcam. Yeah, don't worry. You got this. This sticker, I'm going to take it out. Okay, what else? This thing. Okay, sounds good. One thing I like about this webcam is the bottom part, you can use this on your tripod, like camera tripod, so very versatile. And this thing, I believe you can take it out. Yep, you can take it out. You can dismantle it and then you can put it back again. So that's flexible. Not many webcam that allows you to separate the base and the webcam itself. Okay, let me put it back. You can twist. 360 degree. Oh, this is the stand. Nothing special. Pretty stiff. When I turn it, you can feel it like pretty hard to turn it. Pretty stiff. And the front is like a piano black finish. Uh, fingerprint magnet. Let's set up. Yeah, USB 2.0. And that's it. So I just set up the webcam. This is the Luminous C30. I plug it to my PC and this is my lousy webcam CBR Russian company. To be honest, I only pay like less than 35 ringgit 480p and versus 2k. As you can see, there's a red LED light to show you that uh, your webcam is power on but not in use. To know when your webcam is in use, you will see a green LED light. La. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how's the quality, how's the video recording, all the performance and etc. Yeah, basically look how good is the sensor. Using OBS, wow the delay is real. This is massive delay. Uh, I'm using the H.264 format right now. As you can see, this is unacceptable. The delay 
Oh my goodness, How's, how are you gonna swim it with this format? Okay, let, let me change it to another one. MJPG. Okay, see how. MJPG is much better right now, but you still can see there's a slight delay. Fantac, you guys can do better than this. I'm not so sure about the technical side. Maybe it's because of the uh, image processing processor, something sensor, or maybe the camera. Uh, I, I guess a custom driver can fix this out. Fantech, do your job. Yeah, the delay is crazy. Why, why, why this kind of thing happen? Other than that, the mic. So right now I'm using my camera mic and I'm gonna switch it to the Fantech Luminous C30 built-in microphone. Okay. So right now I'm using the Fantech Luminous C30 built-in microphone. What do you guys think? To me personally, I think it's just a generic microphone quality. It's not too bad. You can hear my voice clearly. I tune it down the microphone volume down to 55%. It was 85% right out of the box. Tune it down because it's, I think it's too loud, so I kind of tune it down. And the, for the lens wise, uh, yeah, it's true. They did deliver the promise, which is 106 degree angle. You can pretty much see my whole room pretty wide. I like how wide it is. Uh, it can fit like four or five people here, you know. Color-wise, uh, it's slightly under-saturated. Not as accurate I, as I wanted, but it's not too bad. If you want to compare to like uh, the 920 once again, that costs 400 plus. That color will be way better than this. Yeah, the color grading is much better, but it's, it's not too bad for its price point. Uh, in terms of uh, exposure, it's slightly overexposed. I wish Fantech can kind of adjust the color grading right out of the box first before they send it to, to the customer. You can adjust by yourself using OBS uh, video setting, like click property and then configure video you can change the brightness and the contrast yeah, yeah it's just another step to do it um, yeah so right now what you guys see is I got three different light source one is the ceiling light on my right will be the light box and on my left will be my window let me switch off and to test it out how this webcam performs in the dark. So let me switch off the light box. Okay, not too bad. Switch off the ceiling light. Okay, getting darker. The noise you can see in the back is like getting more and more. Okay, right now it's completely darkness. Usually you won't scream like this. Okay, uh, you still can see me. You still can recognize me in the dark. So not too bad, although grain and noise is pretty much everywhere it's expected because the sensor is not that big okay four megapixel only yeah when you wave your hands it's not as smooth as the 30 frames per second because this is 25 okay usually you will string your webcam down to this size so your audience probably won't see the, the noise in your background with this size perfectly for streaming video calling no problem so that's my testing so that's about it guys thanks for watching remember to give a thumbs up subscribe and click the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video share it to your friends and family comment down in the comment section below buy me a coffee if you want to support this channel or just watch my videos and as always i will see you in the next video guys goodbye